Hello, I'm Tim Morgan and I'm going to help you get started using Squash, the open source exception reporting tool that's better than what you're currently using. Plus, it's free. Setting up Squash is simple. After you've checked out the repository, run the setup.rb script in the project root. It'll ask you a series of questions and then configure Squash for you. At this point, you should be good to go. You can run specs if you wish. A quick git diff gives you an idea of the sort of setup that the script performed. Let's start the server and quickly add our project. In this example, I'll be using password-based authentication, so I'll need to sign up. Adding a project is easy. Normally you would enter in the uh, repository URL here, but um, because I'm just testing this locally, I'm just going to enter the path to the repository. Now that I've added the project to Squash, I'll grab the API key. There are client libraries for Squash in a variety of languages. In this example, we'll be integrating Squash into a Rails project. We add the Squash Ruby and Rails gems to our gem file, as shown in the example here. Now we'll set up the client in our application.rb. You can organize this code away if you wish. Lastly, we add a few lines to our application controller. That's it for the most basic integration. I'll run the project on a different port and hit a controller with a bug in it. You can see in the other tab that Squash picked up the exception report. Let's take a look at what Squash gives us. This is a list of open, unassigned, unresolved bugs in my project. The first thing to understand is that a bug is not a single occurrence of an exception. Rather, it's a group aggregating all exceptions with the same root cause. They may not have even happened on the same line of code. Squash uses a little static analysis to guess at whether two exceptions share the same root cause or not. Viewing an exception, you can immediately see that Squash gives you the context you need to understand the bug. If it's obvious what the problem is just at a glance, like this no method error, you can use one of the editor links here to instantly begin solving the problem. Scrolling down, we see that Squash has notified only the single developer that it believes is responsible for the bug. That developer alone is emailed once, and the entire engineering team is not emailed at all. You can customize the escalation policy if you'd like, but the focus is on avoiding email overload. Once you've fixed the problem, you can switch to the Management tab and record your fix. If you integrate Squash into your deployed toolchain, Squash will automatically mark the fix as deployed when the commit goes out. At that point, if any new exceptions come in, the bug is reopened and another email is sent. You can also see that Squash has collaboration tools. You can assign a bug to someone, 
or discuss it with others. If you need more data to track down a problem, you can drill down into individual occurrences of a bug. Here you can see an exception stack trace and information about the environment at the time of the exception. You can even see an exception's hierarchy if it has a parent. In addition, you can investigate complex values using the value inspector. There's a lot more to squash that I'm not showing here, like symbolication for the iOS guys, the obfuscation for the Java folks, source mapping for JavaScript bugs, pager duty integration, the list goes on. Give it a try. It's free and open source after all.